I'll show you the best acts you can do to your Dobsonian telescope, particularly this 12 inch Dobsonian telescope, the king. The king. The king. I was very impressed with my 12 inch Dobsonian arrival. And soon I realized I had a super powerful telescope in my hands. Now I could watch the beauties of the sky with a large aperture, a real telescope. However, I also realized that I had much things to improve in this powerful tool, so I could have more comfort observing with it and use it with the camera as well, in order to watch things I could ever imagine I could watch. Details matter, but it's not only one hack that will turn your Dobsonian into a super powerful Dobsonian telescope. The ingredients to succeed with your Dobsonian is a group of upgrades working for you all together as a whole, as long as the most important ingredient of all, the commitment with your telescope. This is not a toy, this is an instrument that will help you to open your mind to the universe. And as you are watching right now, despite the 12 inch telescope has a heavy tube, I still can handle it very well with this important upgrade. Two simple straps around the tube will allow you to move your telescope tube in a much easier way. You have the links of all the materials I use in this video at dobsonianpower.com and if for some reason you can't grab the tube like this, use some kind of a trolley instead. And you might want to install two different handles, this time at a rocker. They are another must have and following the handles route, not so critical but also a good upgrade to do, it's to place one of those at the top of the tube. With two contact points will not bend the tube and will help you to move it in the dark. The relevance of this hack increase when you do a light shield, another important upgrade, because when you have that shield in place, you will no longer use the top of the telescope to move it you now will use the handle instead. This light shield is very easy and inexpensive to do. It will protect your observations from straight light and from light from the bright moon with the additional advantage to help delaying the dew formation on the secondary mirror. Be aware though that with strong wind it's better not to use it. And the same benefits can be achieved by protecting the focuser. This way, no straight light will interfere in your observations. But you can go further away and use the same foam to protect and delay the dew from the secondary mirror. In the 12 inch Dobsonian telescope, there's no obstruction at all. If needed, you can use a dew heater, but I only use it at the edges of the focuser. And if you want pitch black views, just lock the secondary edges and the tube behind it. And if you're like me and also enjoy to watch the sky through a camera, this simple cable holder strap attached to that handle will remove all the pressure over the USB connection to the camera. And whether you use a camera or just do visual observations, an autofocuser will allow you to focus your telescope without touching it. It will improve your comfort and precision. In addition to that, you will need to find the objects fast and the Telrath Finder is one of the most important upgrades to do right away. And to fix the Telrath in a stable position, you can install easily this very solid 3 bracket mount. You can pair it with a good dovetail as long as the finder scope. Then you can make a simple cap using materials like foam, which will protect the Telrath against dust and dew until you start the observation. Of course, if you're on Bortle 9 full of light pollution, you might want to upgrade your finder scope to a Rassi finder. Having an angle of 90 degrees will provide you much more comfort observing and your neck will appreciate a lot. Especially if you point a telescope to Zenit, which is a vertical position that should be protected from bumping the heavy tube against the rocker. With a simple piece of thick and inexpensive foam, you can easily protect it. 
and these kind of movements can be hard to manage if you don't have the telescope balance it. And to do that, I use a simple purse with magnets and a few pieces of metal inside. Moving it up and down in the tube, according to my needs, I can have my Dobsonian telescope always balanced, because each time we move the tube, we need to adjust the balance. The same technique can be used to add weight in the side of the rocker in case you need it if using an equatorial platform. And another hack to balance your Dobsonian is to use an elastic cord from the bottom of the tube to the rocker. This I only use sometimes when I point too low in the sky where the telescope has to be horizontal. This is a complement to the magnets. But there's a third hack to balance your telescope and it's to use a chain. This is the only one that is permanent and fixed. To help with the balance of your telescope, check that you have a good tension in your springs, in case your telescope has them, of course. If so, you can use keychain rings or something like that to adjust that tension. I like to have a good friction and that's why I also had it more Teflon above the original squares. But here in this image you can see another very important hack, which is the cooling fan. This is a must-have to larger telescopes, because to have good observations, you need to acclimate the telescope mirrors as well as the air inside the tube. I have it always on and it's also an excellent help to get rid of the dew. Of course these things need to be powered, so a UPS it's a very good upgrade. It lasts long and it's very light. And of course another important upgrade is to use a cap to cover the bottom of the tube. This will protect the inner tube from the dust, from the bugs and will not interfere at all with the airflow because you still have plenty of space between the cap and the primary mirror. The equatorial platform is essential in my opinion in any classic Dobsonian telescope. With it you can track the sky in a simple way without a bunch of electronics to annoy you and you just have to place the rocker over the platform and then the tube over the rocker. Simple as that will allow you to have comfortable visual observations without the object running away from the field of view of the eyepiece as well as using a camera whether to do EAA, so live stacking or astrophotography with your Dobsonian telescope. Either ways you will need a good collimation and you can upgrade the secondary mirror collimation knobs and at the bottom at the primary mirror cell you should upgrade the collimation springs to much stiffer springs as I have done. This way your collimation will last much longer, therefore you will not need to collimate all the time. This glow in the dark tape that you see around the base avoid me and other people to bump the telescope in the dark and it doesn't hurt your dark vision. But one of the most important upgrades I did was adding these three legs to store the telescope tube on vertical. Otherwise it will make pressure over the collimation knobs. 